Hello, this is Virgil Labrador, and we're here in Holzkirchen, uh, Germany, in the uh, in the state of Bavaria, a very beautiful area, and near Munich, which is a major center uh, in, in of industry, and with uh, Thomas Frulich, he's the CEO of uh, Work Microwave. He's been on this video cast a few times, and uh, we're here. We're doing a facility tour, as we've done in the, in the past in other uh, companies, uh, in their new facility. This is a brand new facility. Eh, Thomas? Yes, Virgil. Hello and welcome to our brand new facility at Holzkirchen. Um, you have known the old place. Uh, this is the first time you are visiting us in mm -hmm. our brand new facilities. Mm -hmm. Just opened very recently in January 2019, so just uh, two months ago. Right. Uh, we are ha very happy to welcome you here. Right. Well, thank you. And uh, you're going to have a formal launch in about two weeks, right? So this is a good preview then. Exactly. In early April, we are going to inaugurate the new site by inviting a large group of our international customers and we are very glad. We are expecting many of them coming from Asia, coming from the US, obviously from Europe and uh, of course some of the nearer region as you said. Uh, Bavaria, Munich region is an aerospace uh, center in Germany. I mean, obviously some come from close by, but we are especially very grateful to those who come from very, very far. Right. Now, uh, Thomas, let's start with a brief overview of your company. So at least we, had, we get an understanding of what you guys do, and then we'll um, move on to uh, uh, the facilities. Okay. So in, in a nutshell, uh, Work Microwave, uh, what is it all about? Work Microwave is about RF engineering, high frequency microwave engineering, and is about uh, digital signal processing, these are our two core competences mm -hmm. combined with uh, analytical skills, engineering skills, system engineering skills, but as well production. Okay. And we are active in four major fields of activity. The by far biggest one, and that's what we're most famous for, is SATCOM activity. Mm -hmm. And herein is frequency converters up and down. Uh, frequency converters for teleports, for hubs, mm -hmm. for satellite operators, TV stations, etc. Right. That's what we are most renowned for. Mm -hmm. Second area of activity is uh, satellite navigation. Mm -hmm. We are developing and producing simulators for all constellation systems like GPS, Galileo, etc. Mm -hmm. So for those who want to develop sophisticated receivers, mm -hmm. they need a simulator we can provide such tools. These are our most complex products we have. Third field of activity is defense electronics and here most specifically radar electronics where we're doing synthesizers, uh, PLOs, uh, signal sources of all kinds and low power uh, amplifiers. Right. And the fourth one is uh, microwave sensors for industrial process control. Right. If you produce whatever kind of substance and you want to measure density or moisture, right. that can be done by microwave sensors. And that's what we're doing as well. Right. That's why product microwave in the nutshell. Right. And all those uh, uh, different product segments are all originate from this facility. Yes, we are. We are again in this new facility all under one roof. The company had uh, since its origins uh, been working in a nearby facility for almost 30 years um, with engineering, with production and sales. Now in the recent years a couple of engineering teams uh, we were forced to put them outside uh, in walking distance still but however you know it's it, 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 it's a bottleneck and it's it's something which hinders your internal processes. Right. So we had a high interest of gathering all the troops again under one roof mm -hmm. and obviously having what, a lot more room to, to breathe. Yeah. So uh, in these new facilities we are about uh, yeah, 3,500 square feet. Which is about 100,000 square feet. Probably. About times three, if roughly. You, if you say that. Right. Um, and. Uh, so we, we find all the all the uh, competence of the company united here, which is engineering, uh, production, a lot of production facilities. Production has, in fact, benefited most of that move because mm -hmm. here we've had the biggest increase in surface right. and creating some uh, room to breathe for further growth. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but as well, uh, the administration, 
the sales team, etc. So every everything united. So everything this, is integrated here in this facility. One, this is your corporate headquarters and also exactly. your main production facility. Exactly. And then we have two more offices or three more sales offices. We have a US subsidiary right. uh, for sales office. We have in Singapore. Uh, our uh, APAC region sales office mm -hmm. and we have our sales office in Paris for the western, central and western part of Europe. Right, and then you have a representative for North America, North and South, right? Yes, that's this one who is heading the incorporated work by Graph Incorporated uh, in the US. Right. So you have your uh, world headquarters here and uh, administrative offices and as well as production, right? So can we go see it? Yes, I will be happy to guide you around and obviously all our spectators as well. All right, thank you very much, Thomas. So uh, what are we looking at here, uh, Thomas? So here we are in our CNC uh, milling center. Uh, what we're doing here is we are producing all the mechanical devices we need for our, for our products. Uh, so it's essentially module housings, you yeah. know, if you have that RF circuits, circuits right. they need to be yeah. integrated into a mechanical hermetically sealed structure, right. so it consists of two plates right. of quite complex geometry. Right. And since we are so much specialized in small lot sizes, between right. typically one to five or maximum ten right. of, a, of an identical piece built uh, for a specific order, we have a high interest to do that on our own because externalize all these activities would be not efficient enough. And uh, in the frame of the move, we have invested into three new CNC uh, automated uh, machining centers, right. which was a considerable investment for our company. It's up and running since December last year. Right. So Thomas, now we're wearing these very cool looking lab, lab coats. <laughs> it's nice looking, huh? Yes. <laughs> uh, can you explain to our audience uh, where we are and uh, why, why are we wearing these lab coats? We are, we are wearing ESD clothes. Right. ESD stands for Electrostatic Discharge Protection. Mm -hmm. So since we are dealing here with PCBs, which is the printed circuit boards, mm -hmm. Uh, we need to take charge, uh, take care of not charging ourselves by walking over the floor, right. uh, accumulating charge on our body, and as soon as we touch the metallic or electronic device, having a discharge which could which could hurt, right. damage electronic components. Right. That's why we are grounded. Mm -hmm. We have our feet are grounded mm -hmm. so that we cannot accumulate any charge, and we wear these clothes. Right. And where we are is our SMD department, or is one part of our SMD. Department. Here we're doing the visual inspection of our PCBs after they have been uh, soldered. Right. And uh, in some cases we have complex uh, components, electronic components, which need to be placed on these PCBs, which require a hand soldering. And this is also done in this department here. So now we're with uh, Matthias Stengel. He's the uh, head of uh, the uh, analog uh, SATCOM products for uh, Work Microwaves. Uh, so tell us what we are, uh, where we are right now. Yeah. So yeah, we are here in our SMD production area, mm -hmm. so behind us we can see our fully automated pick and place machine mm -hmm. where all of our PCBs are assembled mm -hmm. and directly after the pick and place machine we do have our soldering mm -hmm. fa face uh, machine mm -hmm. uh, to solder all the PCBs right. and at the moment we are assembling mm -hmm. one of our k event modules. Right. So the pick and place machine is, is taking all the devices from, from the reels and assemble it fully automated to the PCB and after the process is finished we will go further to our vapor phase soldering machine where the PCB runs through a specific soldering profile and which takes about an hour with different temperature ranges. Uh, uh, soon we will also receive a, a new version of that machine which also can use vacuum to further improve our internal soldering quality. Yeah, here we are in our hybrid lab. We are producing high frequency modules with ceramic substrates and dyes, especially to cover the high frequencies for our frequency converters and our devices in general. So behind, at the moment, the different parts within the module are connected by wire bonds, which can be out of gold or maybe also aluminum, depends a little bit on the power which is used. After the test of the mo models, we will close them hermetically and flood them with, with nitrogen to prevent uh, internal devices 
from corrosion. So, and here we are in the final uh, testing facility. Um, once the chassis are pre-integrated with power supplies, communication modules, etc., and all the uh, externally or internally built modules such as frequency converter modules are available or hybrid modules are available integrated into the device it comes down to this department here for final testing uh, where with uh, the specific devices everything is tested according to spec uh, all parameters specified are being verified and we will see in a couple uh, of seconds uh, that we also uh, let each device undergo a thermal uh, temperature test uh, in the uh, chamber next, uh, just next to this room. Uh, I'm going to show you this in a, in a few seconds. So by preparing our new facilities, we have made a substantial investment into a professional humidity control system. Uh, this device, as you can see on the video, uh, is vaporizing water under high pressure. And by thus, uh, we can control the humidity in a range of 40 to 60 percent of uh, humidity, which is required for a safe electronic production. So, and now we come to the final step before the device is ready for shipment. This is our climate chamber testing room. Uh, we have four climate chambers uh, in this room. Each night, Around about 30 devices will undergo a thermal temperature cycling test in between minus 40 to plus 60 degrees uh, centigrade, unless we have a different specification. And what you see here is a quite complex device. It's a two-channel tracking converter. Uh, you can see the number of modules integrated into this device, uh, which is uh, going to uh, start the test in a couple of hours and will run the test fully automated overnight. So, and what we, what we see over here is a V-band up converter. As you may know, V-band is the highest possible frequency band, around about 50 gigahertz used today in civil or military satellite communication. And I can be very proud to say that Work Microwave is the first company worldwide on the market, on the market having such a V-band converter available as a product. We have passed the prototyping stage and uh, as I said, are proud to say that we have it as a recurring product. So Thomas, uh, we've seen it uh, from the beginning to the end and now it's here ready for shipping. Right, that's what we have done. So once everything has been tested, verified, has gone through the climate chamber test, uh, the devices will find themselves in ESD bags, so the electrostatic protection, these rose-colored bags. Uh, and what you see here in the, in the rack behind you is uh, all devices which will leave uh, this week for shipment to the end customers. Well, thank you very much, uh, Thomas. It's a very impressive uh, facility you have here. Virgil, thanks for your visit. And for all the news and information on the global satellite industry, you always have satellite markets and research at www.satellitemarkets.com. <laughs>